Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about My Hero Academia's new chapter, which is on chapter 360. Now this chapter right here was actually somewhat brutal for a certain character, but at the same time doesn't really affect him. But at the, And we get to see the big three in action, so if anything else, let's just get this started. We had to it that freaking Shigaraki ask um, a question that if Izuku is supposed to be here, you know? And that he and Shigaraki is counting on counting on the fact that he's going to like um show up. But now that I think about it, I think having my quirks not being here is actually very handy. We had to it that Shigaraki sees that Bakugo was trying to attack him despite Shigaraki putting his foot on Bakugo's head. And I'm thinking in my mind now that's just very humiliating, you know? I mean if I even think about it. We had to a Shigaraki uses his foot to pick up Bakugo and ends up breaking his other gauntlet or grenade bracer, you know? And says, you know what? You're gonna be very you You know what that I think about right now? You're gonna be very useful. Y you know, I'll present you as a nice present for Midoya as a dead corpse, and I'm pretty sure he'll become so enraged that I could easily defeat him. We have to it that like um that Shigaraki asked Bakugo the the question that if he that if he wants to be like All Might someday. However, I think I'm gonna tell you the really nasty truth of harsh reality, boy. You will never measure up to Midoriya. You will always live under a shadow, no matter how how much you work how much you work and push yourself. We had to it. Nedra was trying to attack um Shigaraki with her new move with her one of our super moves which is called the Pike, but we have to it that Shigaraki therefore uses Bakugo as a shield, and I'm thinking in my mind now, that's just freaking nasty and brutal right there. But I guess it's also nice and villainous too, because Shigaraki is becoming a very nasty villain or antagonist or something like that, you know? And we have to it that Tamanki shows up and uses like, um, his like, um, animal, animal like, um, mutation combination to attack Shigaraki and like inject some poison in him. However, that doesn't work on Shigaraki at all and says, seriously, is that all you got? He ends up, and Shigaraki unleashes a more of a nasty wave of like, um, what you may call it, um, hands and mouths, which is really scary as hell, man. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, this would be very good for a horror manga kind of thing. And he ends up screaming at everyone saying, you guys just don't get it at all. My body's always changing and adapting. If you want to take me down with that kind of stupid attack, you're going to have to try, you're going to have to do better than that. We had to it that that Lemillion ends up taking Bakugo out of his hands, you know, and ends up throwing him to Beast Genus, which he ends up catching, you know. We had to it that like um, Shigaraki remembers Mirio, and Mirio introduces himself, you know. And we had to it that like um, that Shigaraki finds him annoying and so forth while he's trying to, t to attack Mirio, you know, or Lemillion. Lemillion therefore asks him a question, why the hell do you have to always break everything? What's the deal, huh? He ends up saying, uh, ain't it obvious? Your damn system failed pathetic and it's miserable. And we have to, Nedra launches her surge attack or surge support to like, um, to, to Lemillion, you know? And we have to it that like, um, that Lemillion's like, you know, I realized something. You never had any friends, ha do you? And this causes Shigaraki's like, what did you just say? And we have to it that like, um, if you actually did have friends, then you actually know that there are some things that can't be broken. And therefore, Lemillion knows that his attacks on him will not be enough, which is why he's working with like, um, Nedri and Tamaki to, to like, uh, make up for that. Because if you got, I'll be honest with you, I mean like, Lemillion is strong, but when he's up against someone like Shigaraki who modified his body thanks to Dr. Garaki or something, you understand that his regular human strength would not be enough. So he has to have someone help him out and support him and give him some damage he needs in order to like um cut at least like um push Shigaraki away or cause some significant like um, annoyance or buy some time whatsoever, you know? And 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 Lemillion is doing all he can to make sure like um until Midoriya gets here, he, he'll buy him all the time. And this is really getting annoying right now, although I understand why, because, you know, Horikoshi loves to put in a lot of intensity, you know, and that's how manga is. It's always going to give, like, a lot of spotlight to people who may not have much effect, but at least give them a chance to, like, shine, you know. And this is the final saga, the final arc of My Hero Academia. It's only natural that we get to, we get, we have to see some characters in action such as Bakugo which even though he didn't do much or something and he's getting his butt handed he at least is 
having a spotlight to see what he see what, how much he's grown, you know. But that aside, um, we have to it that like um, Beast Genus is planning to like um, sew up um, freaking like um, Bakugo's arm, and then Genus, like, can you show me? Can you show me your arm or something? I could like we still need your help. But we had to it that freaking Bakugo is not saying anything. He says, what the hell are you doing? Show me your damn arm. At least the rest of us will somehow take care of things. And that thing that Shigaraki is, is not, is a whole, it's a whole new level that we can't handle. But we had to it, Bakugo, that Beast Genius was trying to like, him t lighten, trying to improve Bakugo's like, um, whatchamacallit, um, spirit and not to be crushed. But we had to it, Bakugo says, a couple words like um, the finger faint right you know that kind of thing and we have to it that like um, Bakugo is actually analyzing what's going on with Shigaraki or something or maybe what's what's happening right now you know and we have to it that Beast Genius realizes that even after all that this man is not done yet you know and and we had to it it looks like Bakugo is actually analyzing the situation which is really good I mean like um sure Bakugo is very somewhat of an OP character character well, okay not OP but kind of a genius prodigy that knows everything you know that kind of thing but what Bakugo is doing is analyzing the situation and despite what has happened to him he's not crushed he's not down he's not he's not he's not finished yet which I am literally looking forward to seeing him continuing his like um rampage you know I mean like um I don't know about his arm but it looks like to me genius says he could try to stitch it up and maybe help out a bit hopefully it could still come in handy but we'll have to see because i mean we did see freaking Bakugo's arm get crushed very badly like a twig man it was freaking oh devastating when i saw that when i saw that <laughs> and i hope like um, he doesn't lose that arm because i don't want him to have one arm unless there's a support item that could give allow him to sweat through the sweat through his arms and put it into there but you know kind of thing because it's bad enough that Jiro already lost a lost the earphone jack you know on her left ear you know and it, and it sucked very bad and it sucks very badly as for Bakugo it will suck for him to lose an arm and it'll be devastating too since it's on his dominant arm and his right arm uh you know you know what I'm getting at here anyways I'm looking forward to like um looking forward to next chat Looking forward to next chat to see how Bakugo and the others turn this around and the way how Bakugo is analyzing the situation right now. He's he's possibly finding a certain weakness in Shigaraki's like uh, maybe the foreign hands or he, how he works, you know. So until then people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Peace out. Bye bye. Toot, toot, toot.